Well, good morning. How y'all are? Today's video, we're going to be looking at some of these samples I got last week from the trade show. Join me. Shall y'all? Now, now, today... It just smell good as a motherfucker. The motherfucker's got a dirty mouth. For burn my motherfucking biscuit. The seeds that greasy from the south. You take that greasy and put it over your fucking gravy. He's always got something for that ass. And you make your fucking gravy. Cause he's always been talking that trash. I wish you motherfuckers would smell this shit. Okay, so for today's episode, we're going to check out the Mike's Hot Honey infused with chili and the Davina Sour Cherry spread on this little croissant here. Now, the Mike's Hot Honey here says it's made with New York wildflower honey and chilies. Enjoy on pizza, fried chicken, cheese, tea, salads, or ice cream. Okay, over here, see, ingredients, honey, chilies, and vinegar, strange combination. So I ripped that off there at the tail notch here, let's see what this looks like on a plate here. Kind of looks like honey with some chilies in it. There's the consistency of it right there. If you look back at some of my previous video, you will see where I had done some video on honey tasting before. And some of it was absolutely terrible. I'm hoping that uh, this Mike's Hot Honey will be better than those. Okay, folks, here we go. Let's give this a shot. Tastes like honey at first. It's crystallized. So I think the sample may be a little old because it's crystallized. And then all of a sudden, about now, you get this intense heat on the backside. It's very interesting. You can see that could have some applications that might be usable. But uh, overall, I'm not a big fan. Let's try this hot honey here. See it's starting to crystallize, it's kind of crunchy, it's kind of strange texture, but I think it's just because it's an older sample or something. It's not bad, different. It really just tastes like honey when you first taste it and then all of a sudden, boom, intense heat. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so now it's time for that Davina Sour Cherry Spread. Ingredients are sour cherries, pure cane sugar, fruit pectin, citric acid, lactic acid. What does I see there? My eyes ain't so good anymore. Ascorbic acid may contain occasional pit, pit fragment, or stem fragment. Refrigerate after opening. Well, if you don't eat all this in one serving, something fucking wrong with you anyway. Why the fuck you need to refrigerate 0.7 ounce? Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Okay, so it looks sort of like a uh, jelly. Yeah, just like a normal jelly. Let's see what this here sour cherry spread from Davina tastes like. Hmm. I mean, damn. Fucking A. That shit was pretty damn tasty. Let me put the lid back on here and we refrigerate this for later use. Yeah, all 0.3 ounce left. Yeah, there we go. Let's put that up in our fridge real nice and neat. I ain't refrigerating that shit. 
This should be good as a motherfucker. I mean this shit right now. Mm-mm. All up in this motherfucker. So, my uh, inspection here of these samples that give me these small samples from the uh, trade show the other day. Uh, Mike's Hot Honey, if you're watching, maybe you should consider having a, a, a product, a sample product that is uh, made uh, relatively in the last few months so it doesn't crystallize. Uh, it's hard to say a product when your product's all crystallized and shit. I don't understand why you'd bring that to a trade show. As far as for the Davina jelly, it's very delicious. And I may consider buying that for some of my uh, uh, box lunches and things of that nature. Okay, thank you for joining me today, and as always, you motherfucks have a good day. What this world needs is a few more rednecks. I got to notice something in this here uh, video. I didn't cuss very much in this video, so for all you fans of the overcussing crazy chef, uh, motherfuck shit turd, chefy from Dallas. Like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. I'm out.